Peace, peace, y'all. So, what is good? Um, so, today I just wanted to get into a quick video about how I feel as a black woman living in Thailand, safety-wise. And just some pros and cons about being here. Um, I know in one of my videos, I kind of went over the pros and cons a little bit, but I didn't touch on them a lot. So I just want to kind of go through them again. Um, since I've been traveling a little bit in Thailand, I went to a, another area called Pai recently. And that is amazing. Um, it's about two hours away from Chiang Mai, Thailand. And it's a little bit more country. It's a little bit more um, deeper in the mountains, so you get a lot more scenery, a lot more nature. Chiang Mai has a lot of scenery too, but there's mostly buildings here. Um, and of course, you got the view of the mountains, but it's not as, you feel more city-like. It's more of a balance of city and nature versus Pi is a lot more nature and it's a lot more conducive to me as a person and I'm highly considering um, moving over to Pi, but I know that being a teacher, being a TEFL teacher, it's a lot more opportunities here in Chiang Mai just because it's a lot more schools. Um, there are a couple of schools that somebody was telling me about in Pi, but um, it's, it's, I don't, I'm, I'm just honestly not sure if those schools are hiring English teachers or not. So I will have to do a lot more extensive research and plus, it'll probably be more beneficial to actually go to the school versus just applying online. It's more beneficial for them to see a face, to get that um, interaction, to get that personal, personable <laughs> interaction. So um, I'm actually about to go, I'm, I'm about to be on my way to go tutor in a second. I have my first lesson that I'm going to be teaching. Um, well won't be my first lesson. I've taught other lessons before for my OTP practices, but this will be my first actual paid lesson that I'm going to be teaching somebody. So pros and cons about being here in Thailand. I think I'm going to go over the cons first and then the pros, um, because y'all already know, like, I love this place. There's honestly not a lot of cons. There are little things that I feel like if I change them, then they'll be more beneficial to me. It's not nothing, it's not anything with Thailand, it's more so with me. One of the cons is transportation. You have to pay to take a Grab. Grab is Uber here in Thailand. So you have to pay to take a Grab. And it's literally like you could take a bike or a car. Bikes are usually typically cheaper. They're literally like two or three dollars if that, and then taking a car is usually around like close to $5. So just imagine like you're spending $5 every, not even five, depending on if you wanna to go to several places, you could spend up to $20 a day trying to get around. A lot of places are in walking distance, but another con for me is that there are not <laughs> any areas to really walk. There aren't a lot of sidewalks. You'll find certain areas with sidewalks, but there aren't a lot of areas with sidewalks. And coming from a place like Charlotte, North Carolina, where I could walk anywhere pretty much, um, they make a way for you to walk. Now you can walk, I have walked plenty of places before, and um, it's just, you gotta be careful. You know, you gotta watch out for motorbikes. You gotta watch out for cars because they're going fast and they're, they won't hit you, but like, you'll be in the way and who <laughs> wants to be in the way so that's one that's one thing that i'm like when i learn because right now i'm not comfortable riding driving a motorbike on my own so i have to find that comfortability and that that's an, it's just a fear i have to let go of and release um to get on the motorbikes which is another reason why i'm considering moving to pi because it's not a lot of, here in Chiang Mai, there's a lot of traffic. Not a lot of traffic, I'm sure, compared to Bank, a place like Bangkok, which is like, it's the capital, so it's like just a lot more traffic and things like that, I hear. I haven't been there yet, so I don't know for sure. Um, 
so yeah it's just about me learning how to ride a bike once i learn how to ride a bike i think i'll be good i'll be able to explore thailand a little bit more in depth versus me taking a grab or taking a car and passing by a bunch of places that i see and i'm like oh what was that place called and some places you see you won't find them on google because they won't be in english they'll be in thai so you can't read you can't look at them you can't search them on google um i keep looking at my i had to cover up my um tattoo <laughs> Because the, the job I'm working, you want to make sure that your tattoos are covered up. And I cover them up as much as I can. I have a lot of tattoos. so. Um, but yeah, so learning a bike, that's one fear that I'm going to have to conquer to be able to explore Thailand more in depth and just be able to go wherever I want, how I want. It is about 200 It's about $200, um, to, $200, 200 baht to rent a motorbike not a lot will save you a lot of money save you a lot of time and just it'll be a better experience um i like riding on the back of a motorbike so i know i wouldn't mind actually riding one it's just about navigating around thailand to make sure you're not getting you do not hit no you don't hit anyone and no one hits you so that's one thing um i honestly like i said there's not a lot of cons here one thing for me, the biggest thing for me right now is transportation. And I think once I kind of get that resolved and conquer my fear with that, then I will be I will be good. Um, and I think that for me, I'm going to probably learn how to ro ride a motorbike in Pi. If I don't do it in Chiang Mai, I'm going to learn how to do it in Pi. Um... And I think like another thing for me is being in Chiang Mai as well is that there's not a lot of, there's a lot of nature around, but a lot of the nature is kind of monitored or you have to pay to go do something in nature. There are certain areas that are free that you can go to. Like there's a place I like to walk that's close to here. So like a running walking track, um, it's kind of like a greenway. Um, so that that's really nice. I do like doing that. And then um and then there's like places that you can hike that's not really monitored. And what I mean my monitor is that when you drive there, like say if you're not with a tour group, you're gonna get questioned, like, what are you here for? Like <laughs> who are you? What are you doing? Um and I know that's probably just for the protection and the safety of tourists of Thai people of all of that so that you're not going in any parks that may be a little bit more dangerous um and then plus two like I said you have to pay to get into certain places um depending on where you're going but that's another thing like certain areas you have to pay to get into so it's it's, it's really cheap it's literally like I said if you're spending like 200 by 300 baht is not a lot of money but when you come to Thailand it adds up money will add up very quickly here because you're constantly spending money i always see the meme that's like spending my money in thailand like it's monopoly money and it's real like you will be like oh it's two dollars oh it's three dollars oh it's four dollars that it adds up it adds up so just if you come to thailand and you're living here as an expat or a digital nomad or however you're transitioning here just be aware that it's very easy to spend money and continuously spend it somebody was asking me the other day about money about like how much it costs to um i'm gonna let the the plane have his moment y'all don't play be planing <laughs> they be planing um let me stop complaining anyway so somebody was asking me recently how much it costs to come to thailand like how, how much money do you feel like you need to come here and like just be good and i'm like honestly it really depends on you and what you want for yourself and how you like plan on making money here my plan was to come here and teach, which is why I have my TEFL, my TEFL certification 
and why I'm teaching. And this is my source of income here. I'll probably be teaching online and I'll probably will work for whatever school, you know, whatever school I can um, apply and, you know, get accepted in. So being able to have a plan, um, I would say saving up to maybe 4000 to $5,000 will get you by for maybe one to two months or two to three months, I'll say that. And, um, but like I said, you will, once you come here, you have to remember that you have to get yourself established, meaning you're gonna come here, get an apartment, um, maybe stay there. What I did was I got an Airbnb and when it comes to living in Thailand, you can pretty much, they have monthly rental stays to where you can rent out an Airbnb per month. Um, and of course, like it varies on wherever you're staying, on how long they let you stay and X, Y, Z and the third. But a lot of places will let you stay for a while as long as you're, plan you're paying per month. And you can have the option to sign a lease. I just haven't um, been here long enough to uh, look into those options yet. And I want to wait, wait until I get my visa, 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 visa. I'm going to tell y'all something that people probably will not tell you. Or at least no one told me on the internet before coming to Thailand. I No, no YouTuber I have watched said anything about visa requirements. At least none that I have watched. Visa requirement. When you first get here to Thailand, you will have 30 days where you can stay here for, you know, you of course, you um, those are 30-day exemptions. So you have 30 days. And I believe you have to pay a fee for those 30 days, but I can't remember. I think I did, though. I can't remember, though. Um, but when you first get here, they stamp you 30 days. You good. Then after those 30 days, you're going to have to go to the immigration office to get another 30 days. Now, what I think they're doing is I think that they're changing it so that people are allowed to stay here for up to 60 days, um, 60 day exemption. And then after the 60 days, you will have to get another exemption or I believe you'll have to do a border run. So after being here for 60 days, then you'll have to pay another um, visa fee. But what I had to do was I was here 30 days, got those 30 days. Then I had to go to immigration to get another 30 days. That was about 2000 baht. And then now I'm going to have to go do a visa run, which is where they take you to, um, like the closest border, which is, I think, I believe Laos it's about eight hours away. They take you there. They get your visa stuff done. Then you have another 30 days. And then after 30 days, if you don't have a visa, um, like from a job or like a work visa, a non-immigrant B visa, if you don't have any of that set up and a way to get that, then you will have to do another visa run and get another 30 days. I believe so. I believe so. Now I could be wrong about that, but, um, that's, to my knowledge, what you have to do for visa stuff. That is the biggest thing about traveling is visas. Visas, visas, visa, visas. And I could probably add this onto the con list. Now, of course, like it is what it is, but you know, that can sometimes hinder your, or be an issue for you to stay in a country is if you don't have your visa situation set up, if you don't have a plan for that, then you're going to be in a sticky situation to where you're going to either have to leave the country, go to another country. I know people who have been here for six months who said that they then did so many um, visa runs and left the country, came back. They did a lot of that where they'll leave and then they'll come back. So I believe you continue to get 30 days, but I think you can only do that up to a certain amount of times, if I'm not mistaken. I believe so. Um, but... I think you can do two visa run, two land visa runs, and then you can leave and come back as many times plane wise. Um, so, but you have to have the money for that. And my plan was to come here, stay here for a year, and then travel on to other places and go discover new lands. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and get to the pros because I do have to leave the pros about being here are so many things it's a better I'm gonna say a better community a more stable community than what I was living in America has so many there's a lot of deranged thoughts a lot of <laughs> self-sabotage a lot of just greed and anger in America I being here in Thailand it's it's peace people are happy people are smiling at you people are waving hi how are you so what the car um somebody like you know so you you are always in this constant state of peace which is why I really love being here because you're accepted you're appreciated you're you can be in your creativity you can um, be yourself. You can find new people who have different perspectives. I always run into people who are on a spiritual journey and I find that to be beautiful, so beautiful because I'm constantly having spiritual conversations, which in America, you know, you find people, but you find a lot of people in their ego, a lot of people in their ego. So it's hard to have spiritual conversations because people are always trying to prove a point or people are always trying to put you down who's right and who's wrong. And it's not about that. It's about us expanding, us helping each other evolve, us helping each other. And I mean evolve in a spiritual way, not evolve like, you know, we come from this stage and we're this. No, like spiritually evolve, expand. Expansion is evolution. And the more we expand and we live life through understanding peace then we are able to truly harmonize with each other we're able to truly be in a community we're able to truly build those empires that are everybody is consistently talking about but we we have this ego this super ego that doesn't allow us to connect to each other fully so this is one thing I truly the biggest thing I truly appreciate about being here in Thailand is that I get to be myself I get to in safety, 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 safety. I feel so safe here. I can walk the streets at night. I can, I can walk the, I've walked the streets here at night at three o'clock in the morning in dark alleys. Nothing, nobody. If anything, somebody is asking, do you need help? Do you know, you know where you're going? Maybe a tutu driver is, hey, where you going? Like, but other than that, like, you're not bothered. Nobody is. You might get a couple of stares, but nobody is saying anything to you. Nobody's cat calling to you. I don't feel pressured here. I don't feel the only thing I feel pressured about is getting my visa. <laughs> it's time. It's like, how much time do I have before I have to find a job? How much time do I have before I have to do these things? Um, another thing is, and I'm kind of like going from pro to con, pro to con, I see. Um but this is a pro and con kind of thing because a lot of the things have to be about you and how you discipline yourself. You can come here and it's easy to get caught up in the nightlife of partying, doing this, doing that, being out on the streets, you know, being getting drunk every night. It's easy to do that here because liquor is cheap. It's easy to go out to places. That's another way is how it's easy to spend money. But it's about you and it's about how you discipline yourself. Because if you don't have the discipline, then it's going to be easy to kind of spend all of your money, get into stuff that you don't want to get into. You know, it's easy to just fall into the trap of just partying and not doing anything. And not because I've, I've seen that with myself too, making a lot of friends here. People will be like, what you doing tonight? Let's go. Let's go hang out. And sometimes you have to say no, but it's so easy to say yes, because you want to continue to grow those relationships. You want to continue to be around these people. You want to continue to have a community, but sometimes you have to really say no. You have to be more disciplined in allowing yourself to go to those places, to be out and about, to be, you know, and Thailand is the type of place where you can really just be home. Like you can be in your apartment and be chilling and be good and be satisfied and, be reading or be you know you can have those moments and it's also very easy to not be healthy here because street food and all these different types of food 
you know, it, it, of course, it's healthier eating here because they don't use preservatives in their food. So you feel, I don't ever feel bloated. I don't ever feel, you know, my stomach never hurts. I don't never feel like just bad after I eat some food. I always feel good. I always feel, even if I eat a lot and even if I eat something that's considered unhealthy and it has a lot of oil or whatever the case, I still don't feel bloated. But it, you have to be mindful that they put a lot of sugar in their food and things like that. So just being mindful and being disciplined and being more aware will lead you to being able to um grow in a place like thailand but if you I, I, I'm, I'm speaking on my experience so far and just how i've been aware of myself and like i said there's a lot of places where you can just go chill and smoke weed all day and if that's something that you know you like doing it can easily take over you know your time here you'll be out with friends you'll be wanting to just smoke and chill and i had that issue in america in america because i was a um bud tender or a wellness consultant at my job so i sold cannabis so i already know that lifestyle so when coming here is kind of like all right let's get ourselves established let's get a routine let's get our let's get in a flow of things so we're not creating these blockages to where we can't truly experience the things we want to experience or we're we're lacking money we're lacking all these things that we know for a fact that we are very disciplined in and we are very aware of so being mindful about those things will help you a lot being here you know, it's easy to say, I'm going to move to another country and da 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 And then you get here and you're like, okay, well, I have to move strategically in a way to where I can plan and establish myself to where I'm not like, what do I do now? And you're in a frantic kind of um, way. But I do suggest, I suggest, I highly suggest living abroad, at least traveling for a while, getting out of your comfort zone, at least going to other places and being around a different culture or being around different people. Stepping outside of where you were raised and going to a new place to where you can see and feel and be around something different. And you don't have to subject yourself to the same lifestyles, the same madness, the same nine to five, the same drama the same whatever the case you know go to another place where you can feel some type of peace and the things that you especially if you are being of you don't feel safe where you're from you don't feel connected to the people where you're from you don't you feel like you're expanding and you feel like everybody else is staying stuck in the same bubble that they don't want to get themselves out of if you feel that way you need to remove yourself from where you are because I was living in a place where I constantly had to reset myself due to feeling drained. People around me are sick mentally, physically, and all these different things. And I know for a fact that I am not. I am not. I am not. <laughs> you know, I have pure love inside my heart. And I want to be able to share that. I don't want people to drain me from that pureness. I want people to be able to embrace that pureness and feel that pureness from me instead of trying to be a vampire and, nah, you know, so... Um, but that's why I wanted to come on here today and say I will definitely be making more videos about um, just cost of living and being um, being in Thailand and showing y'all around Thailand. I know I don't make a lot of videos of me actually being in Thailand because sometimes I really just want to embrace I want to embrace Thailand first before I make a bunch of videos. I know some people could get here. They could be making videos all day long, every day, all day, but they have access in the time. I'm still, like I said, establishing myself, still creating um, a home for myself. So, yeah, but being here is amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I couldn't see myself anywhere else in time right now. Um there are other places I plan to go. I think after I do a year here, I'm going to go to South Korea for a little bit and just be there to save some money, you know, and really get out of my comfort zone. Because I know there is also, um, they are a little bit more, I feel like, of a, a mahogenous society. So I think that they don't really see 
as many black people. I know there is a black community in uh, Seoul, but I'm not sure. These are just things that I see on the internet. I haven't experienced it yet, so. But, um, yeah. Thank y'all for being here and supporting my channel. Love y'all. Peace. Bye.